Welcome to the next part of this exercise. So and picking up where we left off, let's go ahead, and use this now configured template. And for which we should next select the corresponding main part. Or in this case, this particular stringer. And with this now selected, we should continue by choosing the type of prototype or layout that we want to use for generating the detail drawing. Now for this purpose, we are presented with two choices. Create the prototype using the default settings. Or modifying those settings for creating a new customized prototype. In this case, let's pick the second choice, so we can properly configure the layout that we'll use. So and from this point forward, we can begin to add all the labels and dimensions that we need. Along with any callout and cut views for further detailing this stair. But let's carry on, and obtain next the detail drawing corresponding to one of the railings over the landings.